All right, here's part two. Now we're gonna put the sensors on and then plug them into the amplifier. This is an example of an amplifier. Yours may look different. Um, and the protocol, which is how, going to teach you how to find those placements, uh, are in separate videos. So you can check those out depending on what your protocol is, either given by me or by whoever is working with you. So the things you're going to need. So I took this, I used the top of the paste container, the 1020 paste, but you can certainly use a little dish or something else because your top will be much smaller than mine. Um, so, and I put in a drop of the 1020. Mm -hmm. See, the little blue paste, that comes out of this thing. Uh, and then I take a little cotton ball and I put the isopropyl alcohol onto the cotton ball. I don't soak it, um, but it is not, it, it, there's a good amount on there. So what you want to do is also have your baby wipe handy, keep your fingers clean. Um, so you want to start with, I'm going to show you how to do a C3, C4, just because it's really easy to do on my own head. Um, so you'll see a video that teaches you more about it. I just pick the own middle of my head. I go about three fingers over. And then what I'm going to try to do is get all the way down to the scalp. Now, when you're doing this on someone else, it's definitely much easier because you can see. Um, but when you're doing it on yourself, it's helpful, like you can see in the see me right now, to kind of try to look and feel for so you see the scalp. Then I use my fingers to kind of hold that down so you can see that scalp. Now you want to take your cotton ball with rubbing alcohol and give it a good rub. You're trying to get the dead skin cells off, any oils, there's lots of product in my hair. So trying to get all of that out of the way because it does affect the sensor's ability to read it. Don't rub your scalp raw or anyone else's. Just enough to be clean, but not irritating. Um, then if you want to use a Q-tip at this point, you could. You take that Q-tip and you're going to scoop a little of the blue stuff out. Um, since it's my own head, that's not that helpful. I've tried it. So I just stick my finger in, not giving the middle finger, uh, and I take a little blob and then you're going to feel for it and you want to give it a good little rub. Okay. Then you're going to take one of your flat sensors. See flat sensor, bottom of the spoon. And I'm going to move my hand so that I can show you this. You're going to dip it in. You can see lots of places where I've dipped it in. So you're going to dip it in. So the bottom of the spoon gets about a pea sized amount. And you can see it's not going to come off because it's really stuck on there. Okay. Then now, hopefully you're holding this down. So you're going to have a really good spot. Then you're going to take the sensor, put it there and push it down. You want to make it so that the uh, paste spreads a little bit. You are plopping it down, but you're not doing so much that it all splooges out and there's none under the sensor. You actually do want a little bit under the sensor. Okay. And then one of the things I do because I have long hair and lots of other people do, um, is I take a little cotton ball and I put it over the sensor. Um, so it's not going to get into my, the, so the goo doesn't get into my hair any more than it already is. It also makes it really easy to see where it is. Now, if we were, uh, doing this totally, we would then give a matching one right here. Uh, but for the sake of time, I will skip that and go on to the ear clip. Now, many people have earrings, um, of all genders. So make sure they remove their earrings. It makes it much easier. Um, if they can. If they cannot, you are able to use the upper part of the ear and if necessary, um, you could even use the forehead. But then we use a flat sensor. Same process, you're gonna clean it. Make sure, you know, got clean ears today. Then you're gonna take a little bit of the blue stuff, blue stuff, rub it. I like to put the goo on the back of the ear. Um, so I'm rubbing that on the back doesn't hurt to rub the front, but you don't really need to. Then I use my thing, clean that off my finger. Then you're going to take your clip. Don't forget, you want to find the one with the wire attached. 
And now you're gonna take this, dip it into the gel or the paste, pull it out. So you can see it's on the inside with the one that has the thing with the wire coming back out the back. You see that? There, there, like this. And now this, because I put the, uh, the, the cleaning stuff on the back of my ear, this stuff, the blue stuff, I'm also going to put this to the back of my ear. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to try. Then I let it go. And I always give it a gentle squeeze. Very minimal pressure is needed. Um, and then give my fingers a little clean off. Okay. So now you've got two sensors on. You got an ear clip and you got a head sensor. Okay. So the next part is they have to be plugged in. So we're using my amplifier as an example, um, but there are different ones um, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some instructions on each one, but I will help you through it either way. So now I'm gonna try to find the end to the, the wire sitting in my lap. Okay, that's one, that's two. It is really nice to have wires that are different colors. Makes just makes it a little easier. Okay, so if I was just doing which right now with one sensor on my head, I'm doing a single site training. There is lettering on here that says A, B, C, D. This is in channel A. It's the first one, that's what I wanna train. So your first uh, sensor for doing C3 minus C4, uh, C3 is going to be in your A one. So this is C3, put that in A. Now, if I had the other sensor on, which I happen to have it in my lap, that would be C4, because that's the right side. Odd numbers on the left, even numbers on the right. So C4 would be on my right side. And you'd think it would go in channel B, but it's actually a reference. So when you're doing two spots, you put the, the second one after the minus, so C4, in the A, what says A and B. So I'm just plugging that in where it says A and B. Each amplifier has its own variation, but it's very much all based on this. Hi, Harley, thank you. Now, the ear clip is our ground. And on this one, the ear clip, uh, the ground is the green. So you're gonna put this into the green. Now my sensors are plugged in. So, you're ready to get going.